Hey everyone, Logan Stout here again. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the great feedback from the other videos. You know, listen, uh, we want to get real information for you all so you can get real results. What kind of spurred these garage door hitting uh, or garage, garage door backyard uh, baseball training videos is the coronavirus. You know, people were trapped in their homes and, and you may be watching this and you're still trapped in your home, right? But the point is we want to give you real information that you can work from home, uh, have fun doing it without having to have a, a full batting cage in your backyard, right? So on a previous video, we introduced how you can use sock as your baseball. You can do it inside your house if you want. You can use wrapping paper, the, the deal, or even um, a you know, a paper cloth. You can use the inside as a batting tee, put tape around it to make it more durable. So we all, we all went about that. We're in my garage and I'm using my seven-year-old twins. However, this information that we're sharing with you is the same exact information we mentor Major League Baseball players on, right? So we work with some of the most famous players in the world, Trevor Story, Josh Bell, um, Ian Kinsler, the list goes on and on. Great players who use this same information. Today, we're talking about the tee, the batting tee. And some of you may go, well, my kid's not seven. He doesn't, he doesn't play tee ball anymore. Every human being that plays baseball will work off the tee until they, 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 they graduate from playing, right? So whether you, Major League Baseball players work off the tee every day. We introduced the concept of the diagonal, so let's look at this. Miles, step on up. So my twins, I have one that's right-handed. Cooper, stay here. He's right-handed. Miles is left-handed. So let's talk about this. We did diagonal lines, okay? The purpose of the diagonal lines is to tell you where you're going to make contact based on the pitch location, okay? So if we're a left-handed hitter, Right? This is the inside diagonal line. You can see the diagonal line. So that's where we should make contact with the inside pitch. Along this line is where we make contact with one right down the middle. Outside pitch, somewhere back here, depends on where they line up to the plate. If they're more in the front of the box, then obviously this diagonal line would all move forward some, okay? So the diagonal line would move forward if he likes to be in the front of the box. If he likes to be in the back of the box, this is about where we'd be, okay? And so here's why this is important. When you're doing T-work, soft toss, short toss, we want to make sure we're making contact along the diagonal, okay? So Cooper's right-handed. So the diagonal line for him, see it's diagonal to him. Inside pitch contact, down the middle contact, outside corner contact along this diagonal line. Now let's say the pitch is middle half. Then we'll put the T right over that line right there. We'll practice making contact right there. Let's say it's outer half. We'll do it right here along the diagonal for a right-hander. For a left-hander, for Miles, Inner half, it's gonna be right here. Outer half, right there. You see, you see how I'm going with this? So the point of this, when we're working off the tee, always make sure the player lines up with the plate, the home plate. You can make this plate yourself with tape, right? It's 17 inches by eight and a half inches by 12 inches. You can Google it, find that. Home plate is the same size for all age levels, okay? There's only one size, one dimension for home plates. So make a home plate. Make diagonal line based on whether it's left-handed or right-handed, okay? So outside pitch right-handed, inside pitch right-handed, right? And then when you're doing T, you place the T on where you're wanting to work that, that particular moment. So if you're working on pitches right down the middle, you're gonna put it right down the middle of that diagonal. So Cooper, let's get this Cooper, go ahead, Miles back up. All right. All right, Cooper, so line to the plate. All right, go ahead and do your, every time do your pre-pitch pre routine. It should be the same every time. Okay, so you, there you go. Find the find pitcher, eyes on the pitcher. So we're gonna work right down the middle. So I'm gonna put this right down the middle. Okay. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put a focal point so my boys know we're gonna hit the inside part of the ball. You never want to hit around the baseball. Get the inside part of the baseball, right? That's why if you have a sock, you put the sock with the little ink dot that you made, you put it on the inside corner, right? We don't want them hitting around the ball. So don't just put a ball on the tee. Let's be excellent. Let's give them specific, specific points to aim at, right? Okay, right down the middle, full swing, go through your program. Good, you pulled off. Did you feel that? Okay, you pulled off. So we'll go to the mechanics later, but the cool thing is now get your stance, line up to the T. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on outside pitch, right? So we're gonna put on the back of that tag. Come on up real quick so you can see this. So basically, if we wanna work inside corner, we're gonna go right here along the diagonal. Down the middle where we just were, outside corner, the back side of that diagonal, right? Cooper, my boys, line up back in the box, right? You can always move the whole diagonal up a little bit. The key is you don't want the T way up here. You're outside the hitting zone, right? You're losing power when you're making contact way out in front of the plate, okay? We're gonna let the ball get deep. Line drive right to second base and set. Good, not bad, you're pulling off this a little bit. 
Okay, so we can see, right? So miles for him, good. So miles is left hand, okay? So come on up. So for miles, down the middle is gonna be the same, okay? But let's say we wanna work inside corner with miles. This pitch, this, this T location would not be beneficial to a right-handed hitter because it's it'd be on the outside corner of a right-handed hitter, which means we should have a two back here. Does that make sense? Okay, so we're gonna go work inside corner. Two, or miles, line to the plate. Always line to home plate. Remember, the one constant as a hitter is the home plate's gonna be there. T limit, T, you may have a T, right? So don't line up to the T, line up to the home plate. Okay, line up and pre pitch your team. Okay, good, that is exactly what you do. I love it, I think it's adorable. Okay, right? remember we're gonna put, we're gonna put the, the ball right here. So we're getting inside focus. When the right handed hitter, focal point's here, right? Contact inside. Left hander, it's here, okay? Okay, so you're gonna stay back, you load, your mind drive right leg down. That's all right, that's fine. This is the last tip off the tee. Come on up real quick. That's good, Miles. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get some more. And it's okay to hit the tee. It's okay, right? If you watch a big leaguer hit or a high school age guy hit, they actually have a weight so that the tee's not flopping over every time. One of the most overrated terms in today's game is called launch angle. And I'm not gonna sit here and get into debate with you about it. I can tell you this, every kid I've ever coached has gone on to play college baseball for 20 years. Every single one of them. We have seven major league draft picks a year. Trevor Story's the number one shortstop in baseball according to Major League Baseball. Not one time do we use launch angle terms in private lessons or instruction, ever. Brandon Sherrard is his personal hitting coach at Premier Baseball Academy. They don't talk about launch angle, okay? Everybody is unique. Listen, this is huge. Every human being's body is wired differently. We're all unique. We're all different, okay? What works for your body versus someone else is completely different, okay? So the key is ball on barrel. Get that barrel to the baseball, right? You wanna stay flat through the zone. If you have a little more launch angle and that's how God designed your body, that's okay. But some guys, like Jose Trevino, he and I were talking, Jose Trevino's in the, in the Rangers organization who I'm with, and, and Jose said, man, these guys trying to give me launch angle end up having a surgery on my arm. He goes, I'm, that doesn't work for my body type, okay? And so listen, natural, natural launch angle is going to happen with the baseball swing. Don't be focused on all that junk, okay? I and mean, there's so many analytics that it, it paralysis by analysis. Ball on barrel. Our goal is to hit the ball on the barrel, period. Missiles up the middle or missiles to the opposite field, uh, middle infield or shortstop second base, depending on what you're working on, okay? Again, I'm not saying launch angle is a bad thing. I'm saying it doesn't, you're not gonna sit up in the box and work on launch angle, okay? Get up here and work on C ball, timing, rhythm, swing strikes, hit ball, okay? We'll see you, see you on the next video. Thanks for joining.